Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year. I've got live trades for you today. I did not put out a video yesterday, so I'm gonna roll two trades from yesterday, two trades from today. So you're gonna see trades number 28, 29, 30, and 31. Trade number 30, trade number 131, sorry, will be the trade that ends 2020. And we'll see trade number 132 begin 2021. So that's super exciting. Hope you are all doing well. Before we jump into things, I'm going to roll the disclaimer. Just a guy trading stocks. Don't take my advice. Just showing you what I'm up to. So with that out of the way, let's dive into these trades. I have to say right out of the gate, I went down a massive rabbit hole yesterday and I performed 105 back tests on a specific strategy that is new for me, but it's it's a shade of my old strategy. It's just a little bit different, primarily in the management side of things. I'm really excited to share this with you because I went ahead, I wrote it all out, I've got specifics. I'm gonna talk through this a little bit and explain to you how I arrived at this trading plan and this trading strategy. Because many of you know, I've been struggling recently with trying to figure out how to get around not taking half my position off at a certain point. I've been talking a lot about going to two and a half R's and then moving a stop loss and then taking half off at a certain level. And it just got too complicated. And I felt like when you, when you take half off of your position, like say you're carrying a 1200 short share short position, and you cover 600 shares. Well, now that second half has to do twice the work of your full size in order to get to where you had originally been hoping to get. So it's been kind of a funny thing trying to figure this out, and I wanna thank the community for giving me a bunch of suggestions. You guys had a lot of stop loss changing issues you raised that I liked, and a lot of you were talking about taking partial positions, and that was great as well. But ultimately, I arrived at an amazing new plan that I'm going to show you here in just a second, and I applied it to today's trading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you yesterday's trades, which are going to be the old trades with the old strategy, and then I'm going to show you the new trades with the new strategy and kind of walk you through everything. So let's flip over to the live video. So this is going to be trade number 128 and 129, and these are... Um, just they can be a little tough to see because, you know, it's just just watching, you know, sort of things failing. But let's play this out. I sped it up for you. You're going to see I'm watching that last 15 minute candle. If you're new to the channel, I like to play the break up or break down of this last 15 minute candle. That's kind of my go to. So I look to take this long above this high and then I'm looking to move my stop loss to break even once I get to a certain point. So you'll see this push up nice and hard and I've got my stop loss activated. I'm just kind of waiting for it to get to a certain point before I move it. But ultimately it's just really kind of saggy and, and just not doing a whole lot. So as it pushes up, just kind of waiting for some continuation, I want to see that two R move before I go ahead and move that stop loss to break even. I'm risking $300 on this trade. I've got a 1,200 share fill, and it's just taking its time. And if I can see 2R, which would be a 50 cent move, because I have a 25 cent stop loss in this trade, then I'd be able to, to move that to break even. But what's happening here is it's just acting like it wants to put in a bearish pin bar and drop. And ultimately, it just gets taken out. So that was trade number one. Not very exciting, a pop-up and a failure, no opportunity to move the stop loss. So if I would have moved the stop loss during that trade, it wouldn't have had any breathing room. And when I say breathing room, I mean every stock, and this is very dependent, like if you're trading Tesla versus trading Twitter, or you're trading Bank of America versus trading Roku, all these stocks have different breathing requirements. And that means oscillation in price. Tesla might move up $5 and then retrace on itself by $3 and then move another $8. You have to allow that breathing room for that up and down or else you're just going to continually, continuously just get stopped out before it then pushes further in your favor. So 
Judging breathing room is a real art and a real skill, and if you can nail that, it makes a huge difference in your P&L at the end of the month. So that was trade number one. Trade number two, looking to get short below the low of our 15 minute candle. We're playing the, I guess we'll call it, instead of an opening range, um, a closed range breakout because we're closing out the pre-market here. I'll hit play on this one. We're gonna get triggered in a really quick fill and 1,200 shares short AMD. We're up about $300. This looks really nice. And there it was. We hit the point where I can move that stop loss to, two, to uh, break even. Now remember, I'm always looking for it to go to one and a half to two R on the P&L, which would be 450 to 600. Once it hits there, I can move that stop loss to break even. And then it's a free trade. And as you can see, I got stopped out again there. Got a little bit of slippage, which is unfortunate. Um, but yeah, just a sloppy, sloppy day yesterday with AMD. And as you can see, I mean, AMD doesn't typically do this, but when it does, it's ugly. That is a big old wiki doji. That's a bad looking candle. That's just 100% indecision, maybe light volume because, you know, it, we're creeping up on the holidays. Christmas is past. We're looking at the new year. Everybody's on vacation. And you can see share volumes even a little bit light for AMD in the first 15 minute candle. So, that was yesterday, 128, 129, both failures. It is what it is. So now we're gonna move on and we're gonna get into today's action. And I actually wanna go back to yesterday and just show you that candle ended up finishing just like this. And volume ended up being, let me move myself out of the way here. Volume on that candle was only 2 million shares. So AMD typically likes to do greater than 3 million on that 15 minute opening range. So it was a little light and um, that's to be expected over the holidays. So um, let's go ahead and move on to today's trading action. You can see a nice, nice setup, but you do see another wick. So let's show you what happened here. So this trade was kind of wild. There was some confusion and I didn't film the loser. It was like kind of chaotic right at the open. I got triggered and it failed. So I took a one hour loss right off the bat. I didn't catch that on video and I apologize for that, but I did have the short and I sped this one up because I was in this trade for um, about 30, just over 30 minutes. All right, so video number two, let's dive in here. So I'm gonna hit play. It's a little weird. Um, I didn't get the first trade and I did take that loser up above, but you're gonna see I'm looking to get long here above the high of this candle and short below the low. I did get triggered and got stopped but then got triggered to the downside. So we're short again. This trade lays out really nicely and you can see I've already moved my stop loss to break even. So I wanna stop the video for a quick second and reveal part of my trading plan. Here's what I'm up to. I'm, go I'm going ahead and when I see movement, 50 cents in my favor, I move to break even. That's a rule I've put in place. It's not 2R it's 50 cents because after these 105 back tests that I did yesterday, I discovered that if my stop loss would have been 30 cents instead of 25 cents, it would have saved a number of my trades. So I moved my stop loss to 30 cents, which previously it was 25, and I'm still risking that $300 because it's the month of December. Now, you can see here, my position, that size went down. It's only a thousand shares. That's because I take $300, which is my risk, and I divide that by my stop loss, 30 cents. That tells me that if I wanna risk $300, I need to short or buy a thousand shares. So I did that. Now, once I'm in this trade, if it goes 50 cents in my favor, I move to break even. And then after that, here's where it gets really interesting. There's no taking half positions off. It's a bar by bar, it's a bar, by bar strategy for the entire trade. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna hit play. I'm already at break even. This could stop me out and will just be a nothing trade or maybe it keeps going. So I'm up about four, well, okay, now we're up 300s, 200s, 400s. We're kind of oscillating. I saw 500 on the P&L for a second. All I'm doing is staying patient. This can be difficult in bar by bar strategy 
and I'm going to explain what bar by bar is in a minute, because you have to wait through a lot of profit. Okay, you're, you're going to be staring at a really nice P&L knowing you can't take the trade off. I'm in the 760s, I'm in the 650s, we're watching this thing go. 800 just hit the P&L, which is super exciting. All I'm waiting for now is a close of this bar. Now I'm going to stop this one second. I also have one exception rule, and that is the single bar 5R exception. If the single bar, the first bar of the day, first 15 minute bar, if it goes 5R, which in my case would be $1,500 on the P&L, if that happens, I immediately flatten. I take the position off. I take the 5R and call it a day. Because in my back tests, which if you're going to trade any strategy, you need to get over 100 back tests, 100 simulations in place. I was noticing that if it went 5R, a lot of times there was quite a bounce back where I ultimately ended up making very little on the trade. And this happened quite often with trades that immediately went to 5R. So with that being said, let's play again. All right, so we're pushing down 800 on the P&L again, 900. We're about to get to $1,000 on the P&L. I just saw it flash for a quick second. There it was again. Now, I'm just going to keep watching this. I'm kind of setting up my plan for if it does get to $1,500 on the P&L, which is 5R. If it does, I'm going to cancel all, which will get rid of my stop, and then I'm going to punch the flatten button. But it's kind of hanging around. So we've opened the second candle. So the plan from here now is the first bar did not achieve 5R. So that exception is now gone. Now I'm playing bar by bar. And what that means is when the second candle closes, I'll move this stop loss from break even to its high. Then the next candle, if it continues to go, when it closes, I'll move my stop loss from this high to its high. And we'll just do that in a stepwise fashion until AMD stops me out. Now I'm not in control of this. I don't do anything. I don't, I don't take any partial positions. I don't flatten anything. I just wait until I get stopped out. So here we go. I'm hit play again. This doji kind of hung around for quite a while. As you can see, um, we're at 747 in the morning, which is, you know, we're just into that second 15 minute candle. And I am mountain time. That's why it doesn't say 930. And we're just watching this thing and I'm eyeing this high. And this high happens to be 91.30. So my stop loss will move to 91.30 if this candle closes. And you might say, what do you mean if this candle closes? Of course it'll close. What I mean is if it doesn't stop me out. If this candle doesn't run all the way up and stop me, then I will move this, this uh, stop loss to 91.30 and lock those profits in, and just hope for more continuation of the downside. Because a situation like this could produce a, a 9R, 12R, 15R runner, and we gotta be on board riding this wave the whole time. We don't wanna take ourselves out. We will accept any profit because, as we always talk about, there's always three or four monsters lurking every month. You know, you get a 12R runner, that's a huge day. So we're gonna stay put, we're in the 800s, 850s. You can see I'm loading up that stop loss. I'm getting ready to move it because look at the time. Let's stop this real quick. Look at this time right here. We have 13 seconds before this bar closes. The minute I see 759.59, I'm going to fire this off and my stop loss will be right there. So you can see this happens really quick. So watch fast or watch quick, watch closely. I hit play, I move the stop loss, and boom. The second I move that stop loss, I'm out of the trade, which is interesting. Um, and that started all over again. Let's see. Right here, I move that stop loss, and then bam. The second I move it, it breaches it, and I'm out for almost $700 on the day. So a $700 winner on a trade that, you know, before I was just moving the stop loss to 2R once it got to 2.5R, could have failed. Not enough breathing room. The key is breathing room. So if I'm at break even here, and I'm going to flip back to the live chart, if I'm break even, I can just let this thing roll with no stress because I have no risk on the table. It's 100% free trade. So I let this play out. If we would have had some continuation, 
Who knows how big a trade it could have been, but it wasn't. So we take the high, the high got breached, and we're out. So $700, nearly $700 on this first day of using this trading management strategy. And I'm just going to review it one more time. The trading strategy that I'm using for management now is once I'm entered, and you all know kind of how I like to enter the trades, I wait for a 50 cent move. The minute that happens, I move my stop loss to break even. That protects me and that gives me a free trade moving forward. Once that's in place, I'm now waiting for the trade to move 5R in the first bar because that would trigger my 5R exception. Now, a 5R move for me right now at a 30 cent stop is $1.50. So if this would have moved $1.50, I would have flattened and taken it off and that would have been a $1,500 profit. But that didn't get triggered. So then step two is if you don't trigger the exception, then you're playing it bar by bar. And I can show you an example of bar by bar if we, um, so for let's say for, well, let's find one that actually works. So let's say you got short, somehow you didn't get stopped out, and this one closed and this one opened. So this one closes, stop loss goes here. This one opens, closes, stop loss goes here. This one opens and closes, stop loss goes here. Now look at this candle. It breached it. This would have been my stop loss, and this candle would have breached it. So the high of this candle is 91.60. That's where my exit would have been. So my profit would have been from my entry to where I would have been breached and stopped out. So that's basically it. It's a bar by bar from beginning, and there's no taking any profit along the way. It's, it's an all or none type of thing. And my back tests have been very interesting, and I'm thinking about filming a video where I show you my, my spreadsheet full of back tests, and I'll show you actually how I back tested it, and I'm gonna show you how I set up the spreadsheet. Maybe I'll do a video on that. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna see um, a back test sort of video where I show my spreadsheet and how I went through all that. If that would be helpful, let me know. But that was AMD, that was to close out the year, and, and this is a huge time, like this is a big day for the channel and for me, because it was on this exact day, about this exact time, two years ago, that I started the YouTube channel. So I want to thank everybody for coming along for the ride. If you want to watch a cringy video that's pretty funny, go back, filter my videos by oldest, and watch my very first video. You will laugh very hard. It's very entertaining. So check that out. Have a very safe holiday. We'll see you in 2021. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you're doing tonight for the holidays. If you're just staying in and watching a movie and keeping yourself socially distanced, let me know. Um, if you have any questions about trades, let me know. I'd like to talk strategy. If you have any questions about my trade, drop a comment below. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't joined our private free Facebook group, there is a link in the banner of the YouTube channel. Click that link. Come on over. I'll get you approved and you can join us. There are almost 200 of us and we just like to kick around trading ideas. So come check us out over there. Hope you're all well. Hope you had a green day today. Have a great New Year's Eve and we'll see you in 2021.